looks like another sign, sign from heaven, that we're on the right path here. Damn. So I had to run up and grab a different device because apparently the other one didn't have enough storage on it. But that's cool because now I can take my time and not worry about that. So yeah, let's talk about these tensor rings. Okay, so this is some next level shit. Like I said, I've been making the Organite pyramids for about five years. And right as I was approaching my year after Blood Over Intent, this just came, came into my life. Like it just, my buddy sent me this tensor field generator. Uh, Organite Austin on YouTube. Check him out. The man's a genius. And I just uh, ran with it. I started making these things, learning how to do it, working with different gauge wires. So the basic, I'm not going to be the best at explaining it, but the, the best I can do, the basics are that copper is uh, has a micro crystal structure. So it's like quartz. It's like, you know, you could program it like quartz crystal. And and when they stretch out the wire in the factory, uh, all the crystalline structure aligns from one end to another. It's like a polarized wire, so one end is positive, one end is negative, and energy uh, runs from one end to another. And so the way we make these is we take one long wire and then fold it on itself so you have it going one way and then you have it going the other way and then you put it in a drill and you, you know, lock it down to something and spin it to the right. It has to be a right uh, clockwise spin because that's the way everything is happening on our flat earth plane, clockwise, right? So what that does is it makes it beneficial. So you take each end, you have to find the correct ends in weld them onto themselves so you have a complete loop and so you have uh, energy going one way going both directions spinning on each other and looped into a complete circle creating a torsion field so this is a torus field generator and i can feel it i'm sensitive and wow (laughs) i thought organite was powerful this stuff is really powerful i can feel a beam of light coming out of either end of it and yeah, they're just very, very potent. And as far as EMFs, I've always tried to like have Organite around when I'm on my cell phone, but I like iPhones. Uh, I probably should use Android, but um, the iPhones really cook my hand with microwaves. And this is one of my favorite pieces. It's just a 12 gauge wire, twisted to the right, um, welded on itself and smashed down flat. And it changes the direction of the energy to go out a little more. But I stick this in the back of my cell phone case and it works. Because normally when I'm on my cell phone and it's off airplane mode, my hand is hurting. It's making, it's like a painful magnetic, like it's being like microwaved or something from the inside. It's very, it's not pleasant. And ever since I started putting this thing in the back of my cell phone case, it's, I can still feel kind of a buzzing, but it's not like a, you know, it's not, it feels almost if it's as if it's beneficial. It's kind of a pleasant buzzing as opposed to a um, painful or harmful buzzing. So and that's what uh, there's a lot of information on the internet about these things. Um, we do not fully understand these things. That's kind of the bottom line. There's tons of applications. You could put them by plants. They have helped to bring dying trees back. Um, increase plant growth, just like the organite does. But I think they're a little bit more powerful. Um, what else? This water. These these are water rings right here. This is an eight gauge harmony ring. The length of the wire that you loop into a, into the complete circle is also going to put out a specific frequency. So we're 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 working with certain qubit lengths. Uh, if you want to learn more about this stuff, go to Twisted Sage. Twisted Sage, Brian Besco, he's the master of this craft right now in the realm. And um, yeah, there's so much to be said about them. You kind of have to experience it though, you know? Like I, I was watching Dwin, Organite Austin, talk about these tensor rings for years before I ever got my hands on one. I, I always kind of wanted to make them, you know? But 
I was just always into to making the organite, you know, even making little pieces like this that you could snap off and just go around and throw them in different areas and like medium sized pieces to put under big cell phone towers to help neutralize the harmful radiation. So to me, that's like bringing forth heaven on earth. Um, yeah, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, but this is how this is at least one of the ways that I'm showing that intention through action, um, because, you know, actions speak louder than words. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying my best to be centered in the heart. I know I make a lot of videos making fun of people, but, you know, I'm real. I, I claim to be Shiva because, because I'm the destro destroyer of illusions. And that's what Shiva's all about, the destruction of Maya, all the bullshit illusions. So, yeah, <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What's going on with my camera here? Okay. So, yeah, this is a tensor field generator. Um... Just play with this stuff, you guys. Maybe I'll start making this enough to sell it. It's Like I said in my previous video, I'm in a transitional phase right now. So as soon as I get settled to where I'm going, I will uh, definitely get back into just pumping these things out. And maybe we could get some of these sent out to you guys to help lift your vibrations, help, uh, you know, make heaven on earth in your, on your earth, earth, you know, because I think it's all subjective, you know, heaven is the head, you know, so everything's going on in our head, heaven, to bring forth heaven on earth is going to be, you know, something that we're going to do in our very own realities, and so this is how I'm doing it with mine, there's other things I do, but this is one of the things, um, I'll make another video on some of the other similar technologies, we're also into uh, creating weather like this, to be quite honest with you, you know, here, here in Southern California, we're uh, frequently plagued with chemtrails, but recently me and a few friends have been doing some work to combat that and to make some serious changes here. And so I'll leave you guys with that. We'll do a little sun gazing to wrap up this video. <laughs> I love all you guys. I know I, I roast some of you, um, but, you know, that's just me. So I love you guys unconditionally, and uh, I hope uh, I hope you guys were able to, to take something away from this. And you know, feel free to ask me questions about this. Uh, I'll I'll be happy to share whatever I know. It's relatively easy to make if you know how to work with your hands. Um, you can do anything. All right, you guys, peace. <laughs>